Go, Angelo! <laughs> Whoever thought that we would see Angelo do a keg stand? Hi, everybody. This is Lady Sweet Tart, and welcome back to Discover University. So, in the first episode, we got Angelo settled into his new place, which is exactly where we're at right now. Um, we also saw his girlfriend Amelia get settled into her dorm, and we just kind of got them situated and got them started, you know. Angelo spent the night before doing lots of studying and getting ready for his classes, but today is the day that he actually gets to go on campus and take a class, I believe, and I'm totally looking at the wrong thing, I believe that his first class is in a few hours, yeah. So he has two classes today, one at 11 a.m. and one at 1.30, so I am so excited to get to experience this with him. We're gonna go ahead and have him drink some plasma before he goes to class because we don't want him to sit in class thirsty, like smelling everyone's blood, like mmm, dinner time, you know? Like, we don't want poor Angela to go through that. So he's just gonna drink some plasma before he goes. I'm also gonna have him watch just a little bit of TV to get his fun up. So he should be in good shape if we do those things. Okay, so since his class is in 48 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and have him go on to class. We wanna make sure he gets there on time, you know, on his first day. I was trying to see, since he has a bike, if there's an option to take it to class. Okay, so he's going outside. He's going out the back door. Okay, you're just gonna go by yourself. There you go. I don't think anyone else can fit on this bike anyway, Angelo. I'm just saying. Like, I don't think that they can. Okay, off he goes. I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping that we could watch him ride there on his bike, but it doesn't look like that's the way it works. Okay, so, and I'm not feeling this orange <laughs> bike helmet. I mean, this is not Angelo. I need to get, I guess there's a mod where you can pick the bike helmet colors. I think I need to get that mod, guys. So we need to figure out, like, I think he can go to class now. Maybe it's over here. I don't really know. I mean, maybe he'll just automatically go at 11 o'clock. I'm not really sure. I don't see an option to have him go, though. Like, I don't see an option for me to tell him to go. Okay, so he automatically puts it in his inventory. That's good to know. I wonder if there are any other students around. I don't see anybody. You would think at 10.47 on a Tuesday that you would see lots of students running around, but it doesn't look like it. Well, it's almost 11 right now, so we will see if he automatically goes on his own. Let's hope so, because again, I don't really see like a way to send him through this. Okay, it looks like he's going on his own. Oh, and this is the building. Good guessing. Okay, so he's in class right now. So we want to have him, I think, take notes. Yeah, have him take notes. That's a good thing to do in class, right? That's what I always did in class in the university. I think I can hear Angela talking in there. He's mastered photography, wow. So for once, I'll have a sim that can actually take pictures because usually my sims are horrible at it. Amelia, why are you sending him this silly, lame joke while he's in class? Maybe this is their thing. Maybe, like, they like to send each other lame jokes. I don't even know. I'm not even sure how I could get him to... Oh, 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 this girl, this girl over here is one of Amelia's roommates. She only had the boy the one time we saw her last episode, but when I went back in to edit him, there were two other roommates. So she has one girl roommate and two boy roommates, and this is her girl roommate. So yeah, obviously I put them all into cast. Um, this is Amelia's roommate, I'm trying to remember her name, Caroline Carmichael, and as you can see, she has a little bit different style. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna pause it again so you can see her a little better. Oh, that was the bell. It's 12 though. Yeah, so this is her roommate, Caroline. This is her girl roommate, so I don't know. I think she's super cool, I really like her. She's really different to the Sims I normally make, so. Okay, so it looks like his class is an hour. Yeah, and he has another class in an hour, so that's not bad. So he's checking his progress to see how he's doing. I mean, the only grade he would have is for photography right now. Oh, it's too early for everything. Okay. 
Well, we'll just have him ride his bike around and see who he runs into. It's so pretty here, though. I mean, look at this campus. It's just gorgeous. Oh, and this is where Amelia lives now. This is the renovated lot that I put in. So I wondered why it looked familiar. Look at him run into class like a responsible little boy. All right, so he's done with that class. So he's done with classes for the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'd like to have Angelo and Amelia hang out with each other tonight. So right now I'm just gonna have him kind of get started on some of his work. I know that tomorrow he does have a class at 9.30. So he has to be up pretty early, which isn't a big deal for Angelo because he doesn't really expend energy unless he trains with Caleb or something like that. So I think that's fine that they can go out tonight. All right, Angelo, I love you, but I'm not sure how you can do homework for a beginning brushwork course sitting on your bed. I, I'm just kind of confused about that. Maybe he's reading about brushwork. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so he's finished his homework. I'm gonna also have him edit his term paper for his photography class because he started it, but it was poor quality. So go ahead and edit it. Oh, it says his, his paper is looking good. Oh, it's outstanding. Angelo, awesome. Way to get a leg up on your work. I mean, he can't work on the final exam, for his one class yet, obviously. I mean, he hasn't even been to the class yet. And the other one is a presentation. So that will be the next thing is he will have to work on that. So let's go ahead and get it out anyway, just so it's accessible for when he does want to work on it. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so since Angelo has been such a good and studious boy, I'm gonna have him invite out Amelia so that they can spend some time together tonight. And I actually downloaded a renovated version of the bar in town, um, Pepper's Pub. And the one that I found is actually a combination of a bar and a restaurant, which I thought was a super cool idea because I really feel like Brightchester does need a restaurant, but it also needs a bar. It's a college town. So I just thought that was the perfect compromise. So if you do a search on the gallery for Pepper's Pub, this is one of the options that comes up. So yeah. So it should be pretty easy to find if you wanted to get it for your game. Um, I'm going to have him go ahead and take her out there. I mean, obviously, Angelo can't eat. I mean, he can, but it doesn't really do anything for him. But, you know, I think it would be nice for him to take out Amelia. And he can obviously enjoy her company. Okay, so they are here. Um, they are in their party outfit. And it looks like poor Amelia is having her um, menstrual cycle. <laughs> and isn't this her mom over here? It is. So let's, I think there's an option, yeah, with Slice of Life now to solve it. Oh, gosh, uh. And so hopefully that will take care of the whole odor thing since we don't have control over her. Okay, did that fix it? I think it did. I wonder if she's going to talk to her mom right now. I mean, that would make total sense if she did. Oh, and then this is her dad right here. Wow. Maybe she's going in to talk to him. But yeah, go ahead and get a table. I do actually plan... <laughs> Um, for an episode for them to go out with her parents because Angelo hasn't officially met Amelia's parents. Amelia has met Angelo's mom, but Amelia, but Angelo hasn't met Amelia's parents. So I do have that plan for a future episode for them to go out to dinner with the goths. So that should be interesting. But that wasn't planned for right now. <laughs> okay, so they're going to go to their table now. Oh, and he's stressed out because he's around people he doesn't know. Oh, poor Angelo. I know the feeling. But you know what? We're not going to make you talk to them, I promise. Oh my gosh, and Haven's here too. What the heck? Is this parent to visit the university night or what? Her parents are here. Angelo's are here. I mean, I guess come up and say hi to your mom then, Angelo. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this. I don't know if this is a slice of life thing or what, but ask if Haven had woohoo. Okay, number one, it's your mom. 
okay? I don't know too many college age students that want to ask their mom if they've had woohoo. I mean, gross. Number two, she's your mom. So, uh, obviously she's had woohoo or you wouldn't be here. And neither would your three siblings for that matter. But yeah, anyway, let's just ignore that, I guess. But yeah, why don't you go ahead and say hello to her? Um, can't he just ask her about her day? There we go. Ask about day. There we go. She's here, so, I mean, you might as well go up and talk with her. Aww. And it looks like Haven's having some menstruation issues as well. There we go. So he's talking to his mom a little bit. Amelia's looking at the menu because, of course, she does need to eat. And she doesn't look very happy about something. Maybe she's mad that her parents are here. She's probably like, okay, this is my first real day at university, and my parents had to come here and spy on me. Like, what the heck? Oh, and look who she's with, guys. Haven is here with Akira. Oh, my goodness. T. Oh, my gosh. This is such tea right now, guys. She is here with Akira. I cannot believe that Haven is out at the university with Akira. Not her current husband, Justin, but with Akira. She is not even trying to hide anything anymore. And look at how adoringly Akira is looking at Haven. Sorry, this isn't Black Widow. Let's get back to Angelo and Amelia. So, Angelo, why don't you go ahead and order for the table? So I'm sure your lovely lady would like something to eat. But my gosh, guys, we got some tea already. <laughs> and it's not even the right LP, but anyway. Ooh, what is this stuff? This must be a university thing, because I haven't seen these before. Well, obviously, we're going to get a plasma chain for Angelo. And since they are at university now, Amelia can definitely drink a glass of wine if she would like. And I think since this is their first real meal out together as a couple, that Angelo would want to get her the good wine. And same with the dinner. Let's just go all out and let her have a nice steak for dinner. So I'm going to have him... Angela, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, why did you go upstairs, Angelo? I don't even understand. And Haven, of course, she's hanging out right here by Amelia. <laughs> I mean, I thought Amelia's parents would be the ones that would be more overprotective, but no, it's Haven. Haven, you barely gave Angelo any attention the whole time he was in the house. Like, why do you act like you care now? So ask her about her day. I mean, this was your first day of classes. This was kind of a big deal. So go ahead and ask her how it went. Poor Amelia looks like she's having a headache. Oh, he wants, oh guys, oh my gosh. He just did this on his own. He wants to talk to her about the future. Angelo, you total sweetie. Like, he wants to talk to her about their future together. And apparently, he has a watch that's like poking through his shirt. I should have noticed that in cast, and I obviously didn't. So, I'm gonna have to fix that one. Poor Amelia does not look like she's doing well, though. I'm sure it's because of her menstruation stuff, but yeah. I'm so glad she finally woke up and saw the good guy that was right in front of her. And my goodness, is it just me or are they so cute together? I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I just think they're so adorable together. I just love that they were friends as kids. Like, I've never played um, a Sims love story like that, like where they start out as friends as little kids. Aw, Amelia. Oh. He can give her. Okay, well, Angelo, I mean, I knew you were a gentleman, but my gosh, he's such a gentleman. He even goes out of his way to pay for his girlfriend to have menstrual cycle essentials. I mean, what a man. Am I right? Like, he actually popped on over to the drugstore and went and got her her menstruation medicine. So hopefully she'll feel better. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and end the date because I want them to hang out together at Amelia's so that you can meet her roommates. But I want to switch control to Amelia. Okay, so we are Amelia now. I don't know if Angelo is still here. 
It doesn't look like he is, so I think it did get us out of paying for our meal, though. And since he's a vampire, he shouldn't say it's too late. Yes, he is coming over, which is good. Go on over and give him a kiss. And then you can go ahead and bring him around to yours so that you can introduce him to all of your roommates. So I want you to go ahead and take him to your house. All right, so they are here. Again, this is something that I got from the gallery. Um, it was just a renovated version of um, Darkwing House, I think is what it's called. So I just thought it looked a whole lot nicer than what they had before. And I know it's supposed to be like a dorm, but I thought this is kind of the rich dorm because this was the one that cost more. So yeah, that's why I thought it was okay that it was nicer. Um, I also put double beds in everyone's rooms because there were four rooms. So I figured if they didn't have to double up, there was no point in having single beds. Again, this is like the ritzy dorm, so I feel like it's okay to do that. So yeah, so this is one of her roommates. This is the guy um, we saw last time and I made him over. And his name is Brendan Sousa. So he was the one that had the crazy bangs and all of that last time. So Brendan is quite a character. He actually is wanting to be famous. He is here and he wants to study acting and become an actor. He's very into fashion um, and he is actually into guys. You know, he is gay and so last time when Angelo might have been slightly worried about him he really didn't have anything to worry about because Brendan is not interested in Amelia that way but he is a super cool guy and I think him and Amelia are going to get along really well and this is the girl that we met on campus earlier so this is Caroline Carmichael and she's a bit of a wild child, <laughs> um, if you can't tell by her appearance. Um, Caroline is definitely a party girl, and she also, and something in here has given us last exceptions. Anyway, and she is kind of a, somewhat the opposite of Amelia in a lot of ways. Like, she is about meeting different guys and playing the field, and... Yeah, she <laughs> just wants to have a good time. But I think that she and Amelia will still get along pretty well. And then there's one more roommate. Okay, so this is the other guy. Um, this is Paul Singleton. And Paul is your typical brainiac sort of guy. Um, he's very into computers and tech and all of that. So I don't, oh guys, this is not good. This is Amelia's room. So Paul does like girls, and the fact that he's in Amelia's bedroom right now, I think is a little bit, a little bit concerning. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's Amelia's room. This is Caroline's room. And then this over here is Paul's room. And then obviously downstairs um, where we saw Brendan is Brendan's room. So those are Amelia's roommates. So yeah, they all have kind of different personalities, um, which I think is super cool. And Paul came out of Amelia's room. He probably found out she was home and thought, oh, I better get out of there really quick. I wish there was a social interaction where you could introduce someone. Maybe we can just have her go up and embrace him and then kind of like show everybody, hey, look everyone, this is my boyfriend. Oh man, Brendan doesn't seem like he's doing well though. I wonder if he's sick. Okay, so it is 8.19 in the morning. Um, after Angela went home from Amelia's, I just had him come home and work on some homework and start on his presentation here. So he's just been pretty productive tonight, but he does have class in about an hour, so I just have him taking a shower so that he's all fresh and ready to go. Oh, great. It looks like we have a visit from the peeping Tina. Well, I hate to break it to you, Peeping Tima, but we're about to go to school, so too bad for you. All right, so he's off to his next class. And it looks like this one's across campus. Lovely. All right, so we're going to have you go and watch some TV. Actually, why don't you go and play some video games for a little bit? You haven't done that in a long time. Oh, my gosh, guys. So Amelia just sent Angelo this text message that says, stop making me think about you. I'm busy. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, they are just the cutest. I'm sorry, but they just are. Okay, so now that Angelo's home, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, have hey. him throw a keg party. And I'm gonna have him invite all of the university students that he knows. All right, so everybody is gonna be coming over. It says, finish an entire juice keg. Oh my, <laughs> we only have seven of us. I mean, I guess Angelo's a vampire, so it's not exactly like it's gonna affect him that much. And here is Brendan rocking the leather pants. I just felt like he totally could rock those, and he is. So An Angelo is gonna go ahead and tap that. Angelo, I never knew you knew how to do such things. Marco. I mean, you're such a nice boy. How do you know how to tap a keg? Oh, here comes Amelia. And it looks like she came right out to find Angelo. Uh, so, so. He's going to chat with her. How sweet is that? Okay, please. Can we help Amelia? I mean, come on. I wish there was a way to get others to get it. Oh, okay. Our bartender is going to get juice. Really? <laughs> And can we put a radio out here? Like, I kind of feel like the party's gonna be outside tonight. There we go, let's put it right there. Fill the cups with juice, there we go. Maybe if he does that, other people will come and grab the juice. <laughs> Lilith is up here working out. Lilith, it's a party. Did you not hear? So we can definitely have the Sims dance at the same time. I mean, we can do that. <laughs> Angelo's down here getting down. Nobody else has joined him yet. Okay, here come the girls. I'm hoping that if I get everybody around here... <gasps> is she pregnant? <gasps> She's pregnant with triplets. What? <laughs> By Raymond Vitor, which I'm assuming is one of Lilith's kids. Oh my goodness. So she might be having a vampire baby. So it's time to start telling stories. So... Wait, who does he have a bad relationship with? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. More tea. Brendan does not like Paul. They don't get along. And they're roommates. Interesting. So perhaps there is something to that. Because we know Brendan. It seems like a pretty cool laid back guy. So if he doesn't get along with them, that might be a bad sign. I guess he can fill the cups with juice, even though nobody's drinking it. I mean, that would probably be a way to get through all of the juice, right? Aw, oh, Amelia's over there chatting with Brendan. I definitely predicted that they would be good friends, so it definitely seems like, of all the people she's roommates with, Brendan is the one she wants to talk to the most. And of course, Paul has to be right here. Who are you talking to, Paul? Maybe he's a little bit crazy. Go, Angelo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoever thought that we would see Angelo do a keg stand? Oh my goodness, Angelo. <laughs> he fell. Amelia thought it was funny too. I think she couldn't hold on to him because I'm sure he weighs a little bit more than her. He doesn't seem to be too mad about it though. So now that everybody else has left, Angelo's just talking to Amelia about Paul. You know, he's telling her that he kind of gets a bad vibe about Paul and that he notices that Paul looks at Amelia a lot. And he just feels like there's something about Paul that makes him uncomfortable. And Amelia's telling him, yeah, Brendan doesn't really like him either. And she's like, I think he's just kind of socially awkward. And Angelo's like, I hope that's all it is. But, you know, I worry about you and you have to live with these people that you don't really know. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I want you to let me know what you thought of Amelia's roommates especially Paul. Uh -huh. And also, how proud are you of Angelo for totally rocking this whole university thing? I mean, he is doing amazing. I am so proud of him. And next episode, I'd like to see if we can't get Angelo join the Art Society. And I also think that would be a good time for him to meet Amelia's parents. So let me know what you think of that idea too. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and comment. It really helps my channel out so much, and I always love hearing what you think. And I'll see you later, my little sweeties. Bye. Also, yeah, Amelia is straight up self woohooing in Angelo's bed right in front of him. I mean, I guess she's comfortable with him.
<laughs> okay, for real now, bye.